New at six, we're hearing from the attorney of a man one day after the murder charges against him were dismissed. The Chatham County judge ruled the deadly shooting at a Savannah soccer complex almost two years ago was self-defense. WTLC Slim Snyder talked to Mario Wallace's lawyer today. He joins us now live from outside the Chatham County Courthouse with more details of that conversation. Yeah, Don, this is essentially case dismissed. Judge Lisa Colbert ruled that Mario Wallace was acting in self-defense when he shot and killed Raja Young back in 2021 at the Jennifer Ross soccer complex. Now Wallace's lawyer is speaking exclusively with WTOC, saying his client knew all along he did not commit a crime. Mario Wallace is no longer an accused murderer after a Chatham County judge dropped the charges against him. Wallace was charged with murder and aggravated assault after police say he shot and killed 27-year-old Raja Young in 2021 at a soccer complex following a youth football game. Wallace's lawyer Greg Crawford asked the judge to drop the charges, saying Wallace shot Young in self-defense. They like to say that there are two sides to every story. That typically is not how criminal procedure works. This was an exception. This needed to be heard pre-trial. Uh, otherwise, my client goes on trial for a murder he did not commit. In his motion to drop the charges, Crawford said Wallace and Young had a contentious and at times dangerous relationship. According to court documents, Wallace feared for his life when Young pulled out a gun at the soccer complex and walked toward him. State prosecutors pushed back pointing to inconsistencies between statements the mother of Wallace's children, who was dating Young at the time, gave during court testimony and her statements to police. Wallace did not want to interview. Crawford said it's because he's worried about his privacy. He always felt that he was not guilty of anything, but having his name in the media, having people talk about him on social media, uh, was upsetting to him because he's, he's really a private person. Ultimately, the judge sided with Wallace, citing a Georgia law that says a person is justified in using force against another to the extent that he reasonably believes that such force is necessary to defend himself. Crawford said he had no other choice but to ask for the charges to be dropped. In this case, I was my hand was forced. I don't typically want to make my client available for cross-examination more than once, if that. And I did this reluctantly but uh, with good result. And Crawford says that his client, uh, Mario Wallace, is looking forward to resuming somewhat of a normal life. If you want to read Judge Colbert's full order, just look for this story on our website. That's WTOC.com. Reporting live in Savannah, Flint Snyder, WTOC News.